Hi, my name is Larson. Hey, uh, my name is Steve, um, and we are con artists. We are going to talk today about the greatest trick we ever played. So, the result of this trick is a whole series of events, a weekend, and it's full of laughs. With mini laughs written for or even on this event. And the best thing, we often know nothing about these events. They are coming out of a self-regulating community with shared responsibilities. It's basically a Ponzi scheme, except we don't get any money for it. <laughs> so, as they say, pictures or it didn't happen. So obviously we have pictures, as you can see. Although, we must admit, they're not from the events. <laughs> so, let's talk a bit about where this comes from. Let's take you back 12 years. We were at one of these events, like a Knudepunkt or a Mittelpunkt, and we were thinking, it's always so hard to decide, do you want to talk to nice people? Do you want to listen to a great talk? go to a workshop, or play this five-hour mini LARP that will take you half the afternoon and you don't even know who you'll meet afterwards. So you're missing out on so many things. We were thinking, we want to play more LARPs. So at this point, it was pretty new, at least in Germany, to say, what if we spent the whole weekend just playing short LARPs? So we had this idea. Well, actually, no. <laughs> it was this guy's idea, Tim Fitzler. And uh, fun fact, in all these years, he never managed to come one of these to one of these events. <laughs> of course, as Germans, we uh, saw the need of rules and regulations and to control the crowd, you know, all this stuff. And while other great lab countries already burned their manifestos, um, <laughs> we wrote one. And uh, it was very important for us to keep uh, it co-creative and community-driven. But as we said before, we wanted to stay in control at the same time. Also, the events should be inclusive. Everyone should be enabled to come to the environments and have fun. And that should be easy. Well, as you probably all know, it's not so easy to find an event location where everybody can come. So our first location was not even wheelchair inclusive. Not so inclusive. Um, maybe get the next one. It should be non-commercial. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Um, uh, paying for food, paying for the location, non-commercial. We needed money. Um, there should be no organizers, just participants. Well, somehow we managed that, except for said food, which needed to be bought and brought to the location, except for the sign-up process, and then there was this contract for the location that we needed. Okay, maybe at least the last one. We wanted everyone to spread the word. Yeah, how many people in this room have heard about it before this talk? I mean, we even had a t-shirt. Yeah, I didn't make that, but I sold it. <laughs> <laughs> so after 12 years and more than 30 events, we can proudly say somebody had a genius idea. We wrote a manifesto. There is an awesome crowd and a perfect magic circle created by the community. But in all seriousness, it wasn't us. <laughs> it's seriously, this is the work of a wonderful community. The, these 30 events have been uh, organized by, and this community is called the IFOL community, which stands for, it's full of LARPs. But to be honest, we don't know shit. It works, and that's why it's great. And 
Wasn't that my text? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we highly recommend to ask those people of the community, and some of them are here, and if you want, please stand up now. Um, and there's even an organizer of an upcoming Eiffel who will present it on Sunday in the upcoming LARPs um, uh, part. So go there if you're interested in joining this and come to an Eiffel. Thank you for listening. And thank you for bearing us. <laughs> <laughs>